been a hell of a ride. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nathani and I'm a rising sophomore studying journalism and dramatic literature at New York University. I'm a strong believer of the fact that everything that we do on a given day is just a repetition of what we've done on the previous days, whether that's working out, whether that's reading, whether that's going to your office or university and stuff like that. And if we're just doing what we've done already on previous days, then why not nail down those habits so that they can add value to our lives? In this video, I'm going to break down eight such simple habits that will truly transform your lives for the better. Captain open and clean mind. There's a very famous saying which says that if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. And I think that's a golden rule that should apply to everybody's lives. When you make your bed first thing in the morning, you've achieved the most basic, most simple task of your day. And that motivates you to achieve this other small and big tasks that you might have laid out for the rest of your day. The main thing that it does is it tells your brain that you've broken off the inertia or the tendency to not do anything or remain unchanged, which automatically pushes you further to achieve all the other goals throughout your day. Remember, it's never climbing the hill that's hard, it's always starting. Science students, so I might not be able to back up whatever tips I give in this video with like detailed scientific explanations, but I can definitely vouch for the fact that if you have water consistently throughout the day, it alleviates your mood, it energizes your body, and it increases your alertness, focus, and short term memory. And because of all of this, you're naturally more productive throughout the day. people in high school who said that oh I just don't have time for reading so I gave up on reading I said that oh I have to do so many homeworks I have so many extracurriculars I have to prepare for the SAT and university admissions and stuff like that and I feel like that is an excuse a lot of people especially in our generation give these days and that's just simply not true because if you really care about something if you feel that it's important you will do anything to prioritize that in your life even if you begin with just five or ten minutes on a day reading makes you more empathetic reading helps you sleep better reading makes you have better conversations with other people, it sharpens your brain, it increases your analytical skills, it makes you a better reader, it makes you a better writer, and the list just goes on and on and on. There are just so many benefits that come out of reading, and it's not even about what you read. You can read non-fiction, you can read fiction, you can read self-help books, you can read philosophy, anything that you like. As long as you're reading, you'll eventually expand the genres that you read in and you'll become a more knowledgeable, well whole rounded person. people who believe that oh my god if I'm gonna exercise I'm gonna waste like one hour of my day I could be hanging out with friends I could be finishing that research paper I could do anything but exercise during that time and save that one hour of my day and I'm glad I can now say that I couldn't be more wrong contrary to what I believed exercising was not draining my body and draining my energy it was actually boosting my energy levels which made me more productive throughout the rest hours of my day along with that it was also helping me sleep better in terms of quality and quantity which naturally yet again boosted my productivity Exercise also improves your brain function and your memory and it greatly reduces your stress levels. As a person who stresses about literally everything and everything, exercise really helped me calm down, focus in on the present and just live more naturally, freely and happily. tend to journal every night before I go to bed because I feel like I can write down all the good things and the bad things that happen throughout the day and then I can look over them, reflect on them and then shut my journal and start the new day afresh because I truly believe that every day is a new opportunity to start fresh. Maintaining a journal is also like maintaining a collection of memories. It's like a degree progress report if you will because you can always look back at it and you can feel proud of how far you've come. You can look back at your achievements. You can also look back at all the experiences. It's like taking pictures. You take pictures for memories this is basically your emotions penned down on a page in the form of memories. of sleep and a good quality of sleep is something that I feel is very very underrated especially in our generation. Many people believe that if you work long nights you're being more productive but I can guarantee that working instead of sleeping is not the right strategy to boost your productivity because you need those adequate amount of sleep hours so that you can feel refreshed and boosted and your body and mind can recharge. If you're not going to feel refreshed and boosted the next day you're basically drastically going to reduce the effectiveness and the efficiency of the work that you do do on a given day so instead of wasting time just sleep and then wake up refreshed and then have a productive day Gary V 
recently said on his Twitter account that life is similar to running a marathon and not a sprint and that couldn't be further away from the truth. Consistency is key. Consistency is what matters and is important in the long run. If you expect to work eight hours a day every single day of the week, you are definitely going to feel really, really burnt out and that's just natural. Instead of that, breaking down your work into chunks is what matters based on the priority of the given task and your productivity levels throughout the day. Breaking down your work into chunks reduces the need for a long recovery at the end of the day or end of the week and that basically maintains a high level of performance throughout the day. So like I said before, consistency is key. runs a lot of social media channels whether that's Instagram or YouTube I can definitely vouch for the multiple benefits that social media usage has but not everything's black or white anything that is done in excess is usually more damaging than it is useful when you sit and scroll on social media for a really long time you naturally enter the stage of just constantly comparing yourself to other people and that is just the kind of attitude that I did not want to associate my life with ever again because it took me a really long time to get over that bubble of constantly looking at other people and feeling really Really bad about myself and not being proud of whatever I've done so far. When you stop scrolling through social media all the time, you also save a lot of time. Time that can then be dedicated to actual creative tasks that you want to do or something in your work that brings you happiness. Using social media when you get all those likes and comments and feedback on your pictures and stuff like that is associated with dopamine being released by your brain into your body, which is the same chemical that is fed to your body when you give it nicotine. And that is something that is a health damage that is caused by social media. So if you're physical and mental well-being, I would just say just use social media for a given amount of time that is suitable for your purposes. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Hopefully these tips will be able to help you in the future. Please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!